Good morning to your faces. Seven hours later and I am now awake. I feel a little bit stiff today. I have no idea why. I felt like I had a good decent sleep. But guess what? Today is to start the day. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> now we are going out today. But first of all, I feel a little bit froggy in my throat. Ugh. I don't know why. So we're going to go downstairs, have a cup of tea, and start the day properly. So we are about to let Timmy in because he's beautiful. Look at him. Anyway, that's not why I started the camera to record. I started to let you guys know that <clears throat> my mum has just told me, right? We've been getting this for years, apparently, mum. Is this true? Yes. Okay. We've been getting something called the Greenwich Info for years. This is the first time I've ever seen it come through the door. I wake up, I go downstairs, and it's there lying in front of the, uh, I was going to say mirror box, the letter box. I open it, first page, Rennie's info is coming to an end. <laughs> the council's fortnightly publication, Rennie's info, is coming to an end in June. This is the first time I've seen it, and it's going to be gone within a couple of weeks. Bit random. So, Mum, are we going to start the day with some eggs? I don't know. I think so. We had eggs yesterday. Might as well have them today. So, let's make a lovely cup of tea. Ah, oh, bloody hell. There's another cat at the door. I feel like a zoo sometimes. Oh, but she could just... Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. Come in. Come in. Anyone else? No. He wants to go out. Go on in. Who's that? What? It's, I just felt the rain is raining. Ugh. That's what they're Hello. Feeling good? Feeling good? I think everyone's feeling good today. So we're going to start today with a nice cup of tea and some eggs. Or should we have scrambled egg? That's the plan. So we've had our eggs and we've had our cup of tea. Now, we waited for a little bit. Why am I getting too thick again? Weird enough, this whole time that I've been awake this morning, I've not had a toothache. It just feels a bit weird. Um, so yeah, me and my dad were going to go to a certain place today. Scared but jeebus out of me, but did we do it? You do you naughty of me. Yeah, me. Well, right, she'd been a naughty. Um, but we're not going to go there. And because it's crap weather, we're going to go somewhere else instead. Although... My dad wants to treat me again to Costa. So, instead of going to the O2 this time, we're going to go to the Costa that way, where I can also get my bread, and then maybe a sandwich toaster for my mum. Because she doesn't know about it. So, I'm going to go get ready, because it's actually cold outside. And I'm not going out in these, because it's freezing. That is the plan. Now, Princess, do you want some treats just before I leave? I think that means yes, guys, which means I'll see you in a bit. So me and Dad have just left the building. We're on our lovely walk. And it looks like it's starting to rain. But I just checked the weather. And it's not going to rain for another two hours, apparently. So, yeah. That gym. I checked online. And that gym costs £22 a month, I think. For the whole month to use everything in there. Uh, I think they have showers in there as well. No, those I'm not even sure. Um, we are at Sainsbury's, but we're not going to Sainsbury's just yet because my dad's going to treat me to a lovely Costa frappe. And this time he's actually going to get his mango bubble frappe instead of a latte or a coffee. That is the plan. So we've obviously gone to Costa and we've got our stuff. Now today I didn't know what I wanted. So I've got a chocolate fudge brownie frap with coffee in it because they asked if you wanted coffee or not. And my dad, he's bit no, dad, no way, man. but disgusting. He's got a, a mango bubble frap. Better than uh, the latte, yeah. Okay. Last time, yeah. So I've noticed this Esso garage over there. Yeah. Could have been getting up for that one. Basically, we could have got one bus to that bus stop and walked over. 
but I said no, let's walk for once. This guy always wants to get buses because he can. I can't, I have to pay. <laughs> anyway, that SO garage, I didn't know long ago yet that they actually have um, EV chargers. Now, at the back. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, but we're going to go into Sainsbury's after we've had our little drinks. We're going to sit here, talk about random stuff. And then next time I'll go into Costa, I'm going to get the mango bubble wrap. Oh. I've had the strawberry and cream one. Oh. I've got the chocolate fudge brownie one. Oh. So I'm going to try that. There's a coffee and cream one, which I've, I might have had before. Uh, a salted caramel one. And I don't know what else there is. There's one more, but I can't remember what it is. So all these birds are here, probably wanting my frack. Me and Dad are gonna munch on it. So I just filmed a clip for like 10 seconds, and it was sideways. <laughs> I was gonna say I had a, I had like a fly on my nose, so I went, I basically pushed it off. I was drinking this, and if you could, what can you see? You can see the sun. What did I check on the weather app? What was it gonna be like? Nah, it was gonna be crappy cloudy earlier the whole time, the next couple of hours, and then it was just gonna rain. And then apparently tomorrow it's gonna be good in the morning for like probably two hours, and then it's gonna be crap in the afternoon. And then apparently three days after that for the rest of this week, it's just gonna rain, rain, rain. And now look, bloody sun's come out. And the weirdest thing is, all the time around what, two, three o'clock, the sun comes out, and I'm always wanting to go out way before that. Sucks. Is that nice? Oh, do you, want, do you want to tell him what happened? He goes, oh, I just swallowed a ball. Swallowed a bubble. A bubble, a bubble, on the bubble. Looks like a bubble. <laughs> like a bubble. So he was like, oh, I just swallowed a bubble. I was like, okay, cool. And then the sun came out and I thought, you know what? I'm going to vlog this because like, the sun takes a piss. You know, should we just stay here? Some baby. Yeah? yeah. So me and dad have come out saying, I feel fat from having a frat. And my dad loves the frap. He says he's always going to go get the mango one. He's not even going to think about trying the others because mango is just too damn good. How many bubbles were there? The bubbles that you had? About 10. About 10 or more. Okay, cool. So we ran to Sainsbury's and we bought the sandwich toaster for my mum that she doesn't know about, so that's a lovely surprise. Found out dairy milk is way too bloody expensive these days. Chocolate in general is just terrible. Wrong. I mean, I weren't planning on getting it. I was just looking at it like, Jesus Christ. For a normal little bar that's like normally one pound, like in the corner shop or something, or one pound 20 in the corner shop, it's like two pounds something in there. And that's not even with the next card price. It's extortionate, but no one's gonna buy that for that amount. Unless obviously they have a job, they have a bit more money, they feel like having it. You know, there's many different options. But anyway, we've got our seeded bread. They only had one seeded bread in there. Um, technically, had multiple. But the only one that I had was the only one I wanted. Like, I wanted, uh, I wanted not the thick one, the medium one, but they, they ran out of them. That kind of sucks. Um, but we got that and we got Ghost some doggy donuts. We got one pack of doggy donuts. And then Dad wanted to... Oh, I watched a Philly YouTube video the other day of um, the new Lynx products that came out and I sprayed the green one on Dad and it smells nice. And he likes it. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna walk back home. All right, all right. So here we are, back at home. Get off the table. I ain't on it. No, <laughs> no, no, basically our lovely new table. I mean, it's not new. But we always put a cloth over it because of the uh, cats. But uh, we, for some reason, I don't know why the first one went off. I think it was just too dirty and hairy in it. So we're going to surprise my mum. No, this is the one that was on there. Yeah. But I turned it over. I'll put it on the green side. No, because it was white, remember? The white and brown one, I think it was. No, green and brown. So, mum. What? Say hello. Sandwich toaster. We had one of them. Are you happy? Do you like it? Can you make me a sandwich? Not at the moment. <laughs> I'm joking. So where where where's that uh where's that specific couple of words? Hey. The, the words. Thank you. Ah, see, mummy's happy. Shall I make you one instead? 
Oh no, it was this one, wasn't it upside down? We had that one. Either way. Ages ago. So no, no that. So we got this from Mum, she's happy. And now we're gonna put it there for now <laughs> while we do a bit of cleaning up and sort the house out. So a lot of hours have obviously gone past. My mum's upstairs, she's just had a bath. My dad's upstairs, he went for a big ass nap. Kitties have come in, so they're all scoffing at the biscuits that I've just put down. Um two cats still need to come in, Timmy and Jojo. But they're always the last two, especially Timmy's little shit bag. Um what else? Yeah, I'll just um that's what I was gonna do. I have to choose something for dinner and I don't know what. Oh well, I didn't tell you guys, did I? When I went to my sister, something happened. We agreed to do something. And we got a salad. Um, so I brought them home. There's two of them. I don't know if my mum... Um, my mum says she likes them. Sorry, my mum said she'll have one. But then she told me today, because of the pepper on top, the green pepper, she might not want it. So if that is the case, I'm going to have two pots of uh, salad, which bloody love. Bloody love it. Bloody gorgeous. Why is my... You mean? Give it again. What's going on, floppy? Don't know why there's a bag on my thing. But we're going to pick something from the freezer. I can't be bothered to cook any of that. I can't find something that's actually easy. I mean, I can. I can put a microwave or meal in. And my mum's just come down. You're looking beautiful. <laughs> nice pajamas. Look at her pajamas, everyone. Dad wants chicken curry. Oh, I bet he does. I'm going to put these on. Chicken bites. Oh, just my favourite. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to figure out what we're going to eat. Scoff it. So, do you want that salad? No. Why? Because it's got pepper in it. <laughs> she doesn't like it. So, that means two pots of salad, all for me. And to be honest, I really, really like the pots of, of salad, man. They're really nice from where we got it. Although we did have chicken with it, which went really well with it. Even though I kind of ate the chicken and then the salad after. I ate, technically, I ate Dean's salad yesterday. Um, not yesterday. Day before, sorry. Yeah, Yeah. Sunday. So I'm going to eat that salad today. You passed that salad? Yeah. Where is it? Fridge. <laughs> So I'm sitting here and I was like, okay, wrestling video, the next one, which is today's one. I'm going to watch it after what I'm watching now. I'm watching Syndicate's vlog that he just put up. And I just finished the first pot of Shallard. So now we're going to, what, do, you, do, do you want a salad? Princess, I love it. No, no, Ghost seems to want it. Ghost, you want it? What's this? Go on, come here. Come on. Sorry, salad. I don't think Princess will have any of it, not even the... Come on, go on, have some. Come on, come on, sniff. What do, what do you like about it? Should, should, should we take the big green one? Do you want this? Oh, she's like, hell no. Do you want this? <laughs> I don't know why my mum really hates these. Hey, mum, look. <laughs> a little bit tingy. Don't know why it comes with a lemon though. But we got. Oh, a little bit of a sting. Not stinging, but spicy. <laughs> um, tomorrow, cucumber. No, lettuce, onion, but it's got something else in it. That's not onion. That is like onion. And it's not lettuce, and I don't know what it is. And I can't remember what it is. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. Whoa, close. So now we're gonna scoff. Oh, it's not on there. What? There's usually a label. Yeah. It tells you what's in there. Oh yeah. By the way, did you guys know that tomorrow is technically okay. a fruit? No. I, I no. know why it's a fruit, it's because it kind of, it has that taste about it. Yeah. 
So, we're continuing this. As we just eaten the other one and had a bit of space so we can now fill up with this. And then to be honest, I probably won't eat tonight. <laughs> you can't have everything Mom? you've got your eyes on. Mum? What? It's ghost dinner time. No, it's 22 past. minutes. Technically, it's got three, but by the time you do it, it'll all be good. So, yeah, let's crack on with the salad. Before I crack on with the salad, <laughs> damn, no, I tried to get it. He's basically, uh, cuddles, yeah. No, 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 it's like snoring. He does. Hopefully that got it. <laughs> but the Oh, he's so cute. Oh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> he tired. She tired as well. He tired. I don't really know. I mean, I've got one kitty here. I think that's Buster. He went on my flipping laptop earlier, pressed all the buttons, and it flipping got rid of four tabs. <laughs> and I was like, You're lucky I know what they are, you know, shake me. We've got. Why is my bag on top of her? Oh, you're, you're laying in my bag. Oh, okay, okay, I get you, Jojo. Jojo never lays there. Forgot to take my bag upstairs. <laughs> so, alright, there was a cat here, but she'd gone. Obviously, you got cute pie over there as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Princess is in the cupboard, and Timmy's not in. Timmy! <whistles> oh, he's coming in. Hey! Hey! Better hide the bloody food off you. Alright, I'm hiding the big one off you. You get the small one. Because, as you guys know, Timmy is a big guy. Which means, if all this is there, he'll eat it all. So we're going to put them on top of the baked beans and meatballs and stuff like that. And he can have just a little tiny bit. I swear, if he eats all that, I'm not going to be happy. No, I didn't mean eat it. Oh, hello. Oh, he come up to me because he loved me. So... Yeah, salad. Both tubs gone, and that's all I've had. Literally, so I've had four slices of cucumber in one. I think it was four slices of that and tomato in both, plus the pepper in them, plus the onions, plus the lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all I had. I'm I'm not even hungry. I'm full. I feel full, which is great because just eating the salad, like it was flipping gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not even lying. And I got to clear up where obviously I got it. So, I mean, obviously you you know that when I left my sister's, Dean decided to order kebab for all of us. Well, yeah. Well. All of us apart from, no, it was all of us from one about, I don't know what I'm talking about. So it was all of us, but Dean didn't want to eat here. The only thing he ate of his was, I mean, he ate the, 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 the chicken and that. Uh, so I ate, I pretty much ate his salad pot because he didn't want it. Uh, Bradley didn't want his, so I had... I basically kept that one, which was one of them. And then the other one was mine, because I, I was eating Dean's at the time. So, yeah. Salad, mate. So I might just become vegetarian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't even need chicken when you've got flipping <laughs> that goodness right there. So, yeah. That salad came from a takeaway, technically, from two days ago. Put it in the fridge. It was all good. Ghost, why are you sitting in my sit? Why is it in my seat, bro? This is my seat. The end one, mine. 
You know this. You do it. Oh, you beautiful. I'm watching a video um on the laptop. But yeah, I basically went to put my phone on charge because I spoke to James. Shout out to James again. <laughs> um, little tips on a certain uh things that I should do in the gym. Uh, talking about food as well, takeaways and that. Not me, him. Out in you. <laughs> um, talking about saving money as well, all that stuff. And obviously, my phone battery was at twelve percent. So I was like, "All right, James, I'll speak to you tomorrow." He's like, "Okay, okay, cool." I went to put my phone on charge for ten minutes, and then my laptop decided to be like, "Yo, Matt." Three percent. You got fifteen minutes left. Hurry up! Now I'm like, oh, for God's sake! The only fast, technically, I've got two fast charges. Uh, I I use one wire for my phone and my laptop, right? And I've got obviously a wire upstairs when I go to bed. And if my battery's low, I'll plug it in and go to bed, because I limit my phone to eighty-five percent. I don't do any more than that, uh, just because of the health of the battery. So, yeah. Uh, I thought, <laughs> seeing as my laptop, actually, why does my arm hurt? Seeing as my laptop charges really fast, I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to leave it on there for, like, technically a little bit, and just do the outro of this video on here, because my phone basically went to 20%, so that's fine enough to do talking and outro and all that stuff. But, yeah, why is my arm hurting? Like, right underneath my tattoo there, right... I don't know why it's hurting. Oh, I mean, it was hurting earlier, but that was because of the way I was sitting. Very awkward. It's probably that reason. Um, ghost. No, no biting. Bad. You look at me like, I do not. I do, you snitch. <laughs> but yeah, it's only quarter past 11. And obviously, um, I actually didn't get seven hours sleep. Uh, I thought I did. I actually got 6 hours and 50 minutes sleep. Which is better than nothing. Uh, so that's why I feel a little bit tired today. Obviously I didn't feel as tired technically. I didn't feel as tired yesterday. Because I got more sleep. Because the day before I only had 4 hours sleep. Because of the marathon. Um, oh. Just want to clear something cut. For people that don't know what I said yesterday. Or should I go over it again. Basically... The day before the marathon, I think it was, was the day that you could basically sign up to the marathon for next year. So you can obviously, there's two ways, technically, three ways of doing it. Now you can enter the ballot um, and try and get randomly selected uh, and have to pay 70 quid, I think it is, um, if you do get selected, which is rare because... Just like the BBC said, last year, 500,000 people done it for this year and only a certain amount got in. And altogether, there was 50,000 people doing it this year. There was 48 last year and 50,000 this year. Um, but obviously, most, well, I don't know how many uh, spaces that the ballot lets people in. But obviously, there's so many charity places, so many different charities doing it all, which is very, very good. Really, really good. Um, so obviously just trying to get in with the ballot, it's like, <laughs> it's probably like a, like a 2% chance that you're going to get through, maybe even 1% chance that you will get through. I spoke to my friend James, not the one I was just talking about, James that lives near me, and he was telling me, I think he was doing it, he basically entered it for like nine years in a row, and didn't get through at all. I mean, we tried last year. And obviously we've tried this year. Um, and the closing date for that ends in three days. Um, so on Friday is the last day I think it is. Is it 21st? Is it the 25th? 26th? I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so i basically done that. Uh, and if you don't get through with that, you have to try and obviously... 
get a charity place where obviously you pick the charity and obviously you've got to try and fundraise for that charity. Um, now, obviously, there's a certain six charities that you can pick up to when you're doing it anyway, just in case you don't get through, you can contact them and try and run for them um, and obviously fundraise. So me and my sister have chosen the same charities because certain things like uh, my one, my, uh, not my charity, well, ep the Epilepsy Society because of me. <laughs> um, so that was one of them uh, and a few others. I was going to, I thought Ghost was, no. No, don't, don't go on there. Yes, there. Good boy. He's going to try and jump on there. He wants to lay where Buster's laying. Oh, he's going to lay in the next one where there's clothes. Why do cats always love living in flipping boxes and bags and trolleys and anything that has like a Close in close space, it's like weird. See that he's getting in a bag, he's getting in a bag over there now. <sighs> yeah, go on top of the bag full of I think blankets or socks or something like that. I do not have a toothache today, by the way. It was it was hurting last night, and obviously, I took a cocoa and well, just one tablet. Normally, I take two. Um, and I took one tablet and that kind of sorted it out. And when I went to bed, I woke up and I was feeling all good. No problem. So that's good. No toothache. Um, but yeah, so obviously choosing a charity place is uh, technically what we were supposed to do last year. But it's like my sister and me decided other things was just more important at that time to get get stuff done and all that rubbish we weren't properly like focused on it when we should have you know and then if we weren't going to get through with a charity spot we would do the virtual marathon where we'd basically be doing the marathon but our way uh, they basically track you on the app uh you st i think you still pay um or james done it last year and he'd done it the year before that. Uh, and I think it was free for him to do it. You still get the medal on that. You get the virtual medal. But I think it's the virtual medal. Um, and yeah, we were going to do that last year. If we could get a charity place. But obviously we completely forgotten that. And, you know. Kind of ruined it. But this year we're serious. You know, this. Don't sit in my bag. It has stuff in. No, he's gone back to the other bot flipping bag. I don't know why this place is a mess. Look, this place is a complete dump because just my mum and dad, they don't. Technically, it's not even my dad, it's just my mum. So much crap everywhere because of her. And I am going to say because of her because all my stuff that I own is pretty much in my room. Apart from obviously my laptop, the calendar, uh, like tablets, my coat. Apart from that, if I just put everything upstairs. There'd just be crap everywhere. Most of this stuff is literally all this bag stuff is my mum. She's just a hoarder. <laughs> and my dad, there's a few things on my dad's that he could take upstairs. But clearly you don't want to. Ooh. I'm not going to tell you what I saw. Um, but yeah, this year we, we well, I really told my sister, I went, okay, if we don't get through, we have to do a charity spot. If you basically... If if I tell you like I don't get in, or if we if um, like I was saying, if one of us gets in, that kind of sucks because then the other one doesn't. Like if the other one doesn't, that would suck. I'd prefer it to be me, <laughs> but then again, I'd prefer it to be her as well. Like I'd if it, if I prefer it to be her because then I know she'll have to work for it to actually not be like one of the last one. Found out one of the uh, the last runner, uh, in a marathon. In the fun, it technically in marathon overall. He came in at nine hours and two minutes. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's on Twitter though, on the official TCS London marathon uh, thing. Nine hours, it's crazy. Uh, but he did it, and that's all that matters. Um, and yeah, basically, I was like telling my sister, if we if none of us gets through, we have to 
like obviously try and get a charity place i will and if she doesn't want to do it with like be serious about this then she doesn't have to do anything but i will try and secure a place obviously to try and do it because i really really want to do this especially for the charities that we really want to do it for um and if i can't get a charity place for whatever reason then i'll, I'll be doing the virtual marathon and you'll see me literally I would say every day, but that's a bit too much. Got to have your rest days. Um, I'm going to be obviously doing the running. Uh, I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot of running. And I know I don't really want to run outside. I might even make a little deal with my brother. I'm not going to say what kind of deal, but a deal in You know what? I don't even need to. If I do something, then I'll have the money for a certain thing, which therefore I don't need to worry about that certain thing but you obviously see me in the gym pretty much and i mean not upstairs in the gym in a proper gym like the one that i mentioned earlier pure gym just down the road and i'll be going there maybe every day maybe not every day but you know as as much as i feel like i can do it to push myself to do it because there's they had these training um uh training what they they basically it, it what is it called i had a lot of heat Basically, it gives you the training graph of what of basically uh, a start off of running and then like level basically doing level one and then level two, basically getting better and better. And it gives you a plan, basically a step on what to do, like day one, go out for a brisk walk. And I'm like, OK, and then it's like day two, have a rest and then it's day three, maybe go on a 10 minute run or something like that. And basically, that's just like the start of one and it's like intermediate and then it's like not intermediate it's like medium level and then it's that and what i'll do is i'll focus on that whole thing and i'll do each step with you guys on this channel while i do it because i really want to do this um because it, it means a lot to what me and my sister are going to do it for for the certain charities charities hopefully because even if we do get a place and we don't have to do it for charity we're still i'm still going to be trying to basically fundraise for a charity because obviously we care about certain charities. Technically, we care about charity in general, you know, not just certain ones, but the ones that we run, we're we running it for. You know, like even if we decide we don't have to donate, uh, not donate, even if we don't have to fundraise for it, me and my sister, we would still run it and basically put so much of our money as well as anyone that helps us in the way. Um, for for the charities and basically pay it our own way, which is great. And I know you're like, yeah, job, mate, you ain't got no money, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Let me do what I want to do, yeah? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, maybe next year you'll see me in a marathon. Oh, it'll be crazy saying that a year from now, isn't it? Ooh. Um, and I was saying, like, if that does happen, obviously my brother, his girlfriend, the kids, Chelsea and Dean will meet us at the first mile. Uh, but of us thought probably where we were. And then, like, at the fifth mile, like, as the near ours, um, my mum and dad will meet us. And then probably at the end of it, my dad will meet me again. Oh, that'd be great. But if it comes to the point where we have to do a virtual marathon and do it ourselves on the day, then, or because apparently you could do it past midnight in the day, like, the day that it starts. But I ain't gonna be going at midnight going for a run, you know. Especially not in the dark. I'd do it i I'd do it during the day and just do the edge of the whole like river or as much as we could, you know. Constantly just go around circles in Greenwich Park. If it if it had to be like but then again that's going up the hill, down the hill and that's really annoying. I'd probably just join in with the runners. <laughs> but yeah, doing it on your own and that sounds okay. You still get a medal from it and it's all good and it tracks your progress and everything. But seeing as my battery has just gone as in it's 15% and it's half past 11 now and I chatted for 18 minutes in this clip alone um yeah guys this is the end of the day and I know this ain't gonna be much obviously of it obviously day because the amount of clips that I've done just been a little bit by two three minutes so it might even be a 20 minute video, a 25 minute video or something like that I don't know but, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We are close to 300. You know we are.
let's go let's go let's go if you haven't got an account please make an account and hit that subscribe button and also click that bell next to it to get notified when i do upload videos which is every single day on this channel between eight and nine o'clock ish my time uh uk time i don't know what that is for some of you like i have said before um and if it's obviously past it then something's gone wrong uh, <laughs> So yeah guys, uh if you want to follow me on either Twitter, Instagram, TikTok or Strava, then the links to them will be in the description below. So I'm gonna do it different this time. And uh oh flipping on my jaw. Uh uh is she in there? <gasps> She's not in it. Which means I'm gonna have to do it with a doggy. Oh, guys, we're gonna have to do the outro. <laughs> Just prolonging it now, isn't it? So, for me and Ghost, we will see you tomorrow for another video. Stay safe, stay humble, and peace out, guys.